Hey, what is happening everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you're all doing well. Now, today we're doing a video on Captain America himself, Christian Pulisic, and another one of my The Importance Of videos series. But as usual, before we get going, I would like to request that you do hit the subscribe button if you've watched my content before and enjoy it. Please then subscribe and also hit the bell notification icon because apparently that's important. <laughs> right then, who is Christian Pulisic? By the way, some people call him Christian Pulisic. They pronounce his name in the Croatian way, but he himself says, well, he calls himself Christian Pulisic. So I'm going to call him Christian Pulisic. Now, Christian is a 20-year-old winger from USA that hails from the town of Hershey. As a young teen, Christian moved to Germany with his father to join Dortmund's academy and sort of progress his footballing or soccer career outside of the box by coming to where football or soccer is at its best in Europe. He got his head down, applied himself, learned German and before long he was starting for Dortmund's first team at just the age of 17 actually. That's a big achievement to start for a club like Dortmund at just the age of 17. It's kind of like when Callum hunter Doi started for Chelsea last season when he was 17. It means you're a big talent. The world started to take notice of Christian Pulisic as this pacey, dynamic little ball-carrying winger was flying up and down the flanks in the Bundesliga. He suddenly became, I guess, one of world football's wonder kids, right? And he was particularly an intriguing case because he was American and there's not that many exciting sort of American players in football, especially someone playing in Europe and really displaying all this quality and demonstrating immense ability, which Pulisic was doing at the time. Now at the age of 20 years old, Christian Pulisic has over 100 first team league appearances. And remember, this is a, in a competitive league in the top flight. He also has a bunch of Champions League experience and he's captained the US men's national side. Captain America indeed. <laughs> I mean, not bad for a kid who's not even 21 yet. Pulisic started to sort of reflect on his career at Dortmund. He had been there for like four or five years and I think he perhaps wanted to take a different turn in his European footballing journey. And he did not renew his contract with Dortmund, which by all accounts might have upset them a little bit. Um, and with that, they signed Jadon Sancho, uh, an English w winger that I'm sure you all know a lot about, and he exploded on the scene in the Bundesliga. So that, with um, a sort of injury as well that Pulisic was enduring at the time, his game time became incredibly limited, and with those two factors combined, you can understand why. In January 2019, Christian Pulisic signed a deal with Chelsea Football Club, but he went back on loan to Dortmund for the remainder of the season uh, before he arrived in SW6. I personally think the main reason why this deal was constructed in such a way was that Chelsea knew that they were soon to be swallowing a transfer ban and if they did a deal like this they could perhaps not pay Pulisic's wages for say six months and when he arrives in the summer it will feel like a new signing when they know they will be enduring a transfer ban then. Also it gave Christian the chance to continue pursuing the Bundesliga title with Dortmund who were well within the chance at that sort of time. So as the season went on in the Bundesliga and Dortmund were reaching I guess the sort of business end of their campaign Pulisic was no longer injured and he got back into the team and you know what his form skyrocketed. Him and Jadon Sancho were playing together and he was arguably the more important player of the two at the very end of their campaign. In very limited minutes he actually got eight goal contributions when he got restored to the team at the end of the season which was very very good but sadly no matter how good he played Dortmund were not able to win the Bundesliga title and had to concede it to Bayern Munich yet again, which is a shame for him and Dortmund. But that doesn't change the fact Pulisic was in excellent form at the end of his domestic season with Dortmund, and he's actually carried that with him to present day where he's playing in the Gold Cup with USA. He's, you know, scoring goals, he's assisting, he's wearing the armband, so his good form hasn't halted, and that bodes well for Chelsea 
and Chelsea fans. So referencing last season, let's take a look at Pulisic's numbers. Like previously mentioned, Christian Pulisic managed to churn out eight goal involvements in just nine starts and limited minutes at the end of Dortmund's last campaign, which was four goals and four assists. This actually works out to a goal involvement every 115 minutes. Now I've said this before about Christian Pulisic, that is an incredibly impressive average that any forward would be really proud of but you know again context is required it was in limited time and that would be hard to sustain but his form seems to have continued so impressive and the truth is Christian Pulisic has never been a player to boast high offensive numbers but he's 20 years old and he's shown he can do it he's in good form he's dedicated he's got his head down and his forms carried through from domestic to international and you'd assume he'd really want to prove himself when he arrives at Chelsea and there's no reason that Frank Lampard can't keep him on the same positive trajectory and he just keeps scoring and assisting. Right, so what is Pulisic's game? Well, he's a very good dribbler, ball carrier, and he's very good at ball progression, but last season, he still managed to average 1.4 shots per game, which is really decent for a winger. Maybe he wants to probably get closer to two shots per game, but if you think about it, really, you don't want your wide forwards just popping off shots for the hell of it. You want them to do key passes into play, and like I say, carry the ball around make the right decision in possession in terms of combinations with the team and try and get it to the striker maybe. So 1.4 shots per game is actually pretty decent. When it comes to passing, Pulisic averaged an 80% pass success rate last season, which is decent. It sounds decent and it is. It's kind of like anything 80 and north of that is a sort of elite level passing, but Chelsea and certainly lately under Sarri, are a very, very good passing side. And a forward for Chelsea, you'd expect, certainly of last season, to be north of 80%. Now, I'm not entirely sure if how, if it was still a Sarri side, you'd guarantee that to go up. But you'd still expect it to go up a little bit under Frank Lampard. But still, 80% is still very good. And Christian Pulisic managed one key pass per game last season, which is again is decent. It's not amazing, it's not awful, but it's something that a 20 year old who's looking to improve probably can improve on. But you know, it's not dismal. You look at some midfielder forwards that get under one key pass per game. So it's passable, it's serviceable, and hopefully it will improve. Like previously mentioned, Pulisic is a ball carrier and he likes a take on. He delivers over two take ons per game. Yes, last season, 2.1 dribbles per game, which is a very handsome statistic. But you know what? When he arrives at Chelsea and starts practicing and training with Hudson Adoy and Loftus Cheek, who are both amazing dribblers, even Willian maybe, you'd imagine his dribbles to go even higher when pushed by these take on style teammates. Pulisic is incredibly comfortable in possession. He likes to have the ball and he knows how to shield it. He actually wins 1.4 free kicks per game or certainly did last season. That's a really valuable asset for the team as it can win free kicks and offer set piece opportunities. So that's enough of the numbers for the moment. Right, so I'm sure you can gather from what I'm saying, Pulisic is an incredibly bright talent. He soars up and down the wing, he's incredibly fast and he's very good at carrying the ball. He's good at interchanging, he's good at dribbling and he's good at combinations and he's getting better at shooting. So all generally very positive attributes and again he's 20 years old already with so much experience and knows how to take on instruction so he's ready to be molded into an absolute gem oh yeah he's quite skillful as well when he's in possession expect him to do little tricks to wriggle out of possession and maybe the odd disrespectful nutmeg or two which all football fans love He's a versatile player positionally, he can play on either flank, right wing, left wing, number 10, and even deeper in midfield, which of course is a useful asset for any coach. So that's it for my segment on Pulisic today, but I just wanted to take a couple of minutes and talk to you guys. Firstly, I wanna say a big thank you as I've clocked over 4,000 subscribers on my channel, which I'm incredibly humbled that it's gone up so quick. It really does mean a lot, and it means I'm doing something right in terms of delivering good content for you guys, or at least I hope it is, so like this video, if you agree with that and sub to the channel but um i wanted to talk about how i've been spending a lot of time money and effort in making these videos it can take up to like four hours to make one 10 minute video like studio rental driving to the studio and analysis research script writing filming editing etc um 
and I, eventually I want to get my channel monetized, but it takes a very long time. A few of you messaged me asking if there's a way that you can support me, and because I'm spending so much time, I thought it, it wouldn't hurt to set up a Patreon, so I did. Um, obviously I'm just going to keep making videos for free, but if you want to support me and help the channel going, um, keep it going rather, then I've made a Patreon where you can donate like a dollar a month if you fancy it. Um, there's no obligation, I just wanted to offer the opportunity because I used to like supporting people that couldn't um, get monetized or whatever. So whatever, I'm, I'm going to put the link in the description. Like I said, it's a dollar a month if you fancy helping me out and I can message you on there and we can talk about football if you'd like. Anyway, no stress. Thank you so much anyway, guys. I really appreciate you all checking in. Get down in the comments, talk about football. I'm always down there, so that's it for me, guys. Enjoy the football. I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby